Hello everybody, welcome to Age of Empires PC release. This is the Game Pass version. I'm just going to quickly show you how well it runs on an 8 gigabyte laptop. Now this particular laptop is a Ryzen 4600H CPU, which is a 6 core 12 thread CPU. And we have a GTX 1650, which is a 4 gigabyte GPU. Now I'm running some statistics on the left hand side here that you can see, uh, basically for frame rate, GPU usage, CPU usage, how much RAM it's using. Um, just to give you an idea of how well it runs. Settings, now I did get a warning when I loaded the game saying that you've only got eight gigabytes of RAM and there's only this much free, you may encounter problems, etc., etc. But I've not actually had any problems, so all is good so far. So it's loaded into default, their borderless full screen, as your options, and basically a 1080p display which is what it's got here. Now, when I started this, it was actually down to 720p, okay? And it looks a bit blurry. Um, I upped the resolution scale to native 1080p and it hasn't had a detrimental effect on the game that I can see. And now I've tried it in a fairly large pre-made world and it didn't cause any problems. So I'm leaving it at native res, otherwise it does look a bit blurry. Image quality when I loaded it was on medium. Everything on this is low, medium, high, by the way. The only thing I did change up was texture detail. Texture detail was on low, but I watched the VRAM and it seemed perfectly acceptable to have it on high, even though I've got a little exclamation mark saying this setting currently exceeds the recommended value, set to default settings for optimal performance, but it was hovering around 60 all the time. So, you know, unless I got problems with it at a later date, I wouldn't change it down just yet. Shadows are really taxing, so we've left them on low. So if we put shadows up, yes, you'll probably get some problems there, guys. You might run out of uh, resources. Geometry detail, medium, anti-aliasing off. Physics on high. Let's turn V-Sync off so you can see the true frame rate. And it has 4K movies on a 1080p screen. Yeah, whatever. Okay, frame rates. There you go, it will max out to whatever your monitor maxes out at. I've left it on unlimited so you can get an idea of how it's running. Audio, yeah, simple stereo. Nothing really super, there's no surround sound or anything like that. You do have a sound quality. Now, obviously, this is laptop speakers, so yeah, it's default to low. Uh, anything else? You've got accessibility if anybody wants to see that there. You've got a couple of bits and bobs for subtitles, narration, etc. Other than that, though, yeah, it's your standard stuff, really. Let's load the game. While this loads, we'll just quickly tell you, the game itself is installed on an external SSD. It's a Samsung Q QVO drive. I'm recording using uh, NVIDIA GeForce now, and that's GeForce Experience, rather, and that is going to a Samsung 980 Pro inside the machine, and Windows and the recording software for the little readouts that you can see there is on an M2 drive that comes with the laptop as standard. So there should be any conflicts, or slowing it down in other words. This is the start of the campaign running at the moment. Yeah, so we can move around using the cursor keys, etc. Zooming in and out using the mouse wheel. Yes, I have got a mouse wheel into this laptop. I'm not using the touchpad. It's a bit tricky to control, shall we say, using the touchpad. Um, textures look nice. Everything seems to run very, very well. GPU at 81, 82% there. CPU at 17%. So CPU is having a really easy time with it. GPU that's... Uh, well, not struggling, but it's certainly uh, not doing an easy job for things. 60 FPS seems to be locked at that, won't go any higher, even though, as you saw, I took the B thing off, which is really odd. RAM at 7.1 gigabytes being used, memory 2.3 gigabytes on the GPU, so easily within reach. In other words, this laptop runs it pretty damn easily so if you've got an eight gigabyte laptop similar sort of spec you know this game will run fine as for changing things on the fly if we can get it to go any higher you have to reload the game which is a bit annoying but really would you want to push much push much higher i mean geometry detail looks all right on medium anti-aliasing you might want to put some of that on didn't look too bad to me um physics are already on high i'd say that's pretty good i mean if we took everything to the absolute minimum let's do that right now yeah we know that okay everything to low and see how much vram we're using if you've got a maybe an older laptop you want to know if it's going to run that physics put everything on low change 
there we go right let's image quality low right everything on low that's as low as the game will go let's save it and see how that runs quick now well this is as low as the game goes and you can tell it's rather muddy looking as you can see fps is still on 60 so yeah it's a bit of an odd one it must be tweakable but we probably have to go into some of the settings to get that unlocked i don't think you really need it it is very fluid what we got there we have one gigabyte of vram used so yeah you're going to use you know not a lot of gpu power to get this game running guys it's really easy to run and it is a really good game if i'm honest with you i've played a lot of age of empires over the years and this one is very very good it's slightly buggy but i would imagine fused future patches will sort that out so yeah hopefully this was of some help to somebody out there guys thanks for watching catch you again next time bye for now